80s, I worked at WFRV, the CBS affiliate in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I worked for a guy named Larry McCarron. He was a two-time Pro Bowl center for the Green Bay Packers who was now dabbling in broadcasting. He always told me about his high school basketball days on the south side of Chicago, playing basketball for a guy named Fisher. Our second biggest sports story of 2017, the retirement of the iconic Steve Fisher. Well, Coach Fisher, I was hoping this one-on-one -on -one conversation was going to take place in the friendly confines of KUSI Studio, but the fact the ballpark's not a bad backdrop, is it not? This is a pretty good place for Fisher and Rudy to have a chance to get together and talk a little. Well, I'm a recruit. Recruit me to San Diego State. Paul, what I want to say to you is as good as you think you are, if you close your eyes and dream about putting on a basketball uniform at San Diego State, walking out to that crowd in Viejas Arena, and, and dream about what you can achieve or what we can achieve collectively, I promise you, in four years when you graduate, you're going to say, Coach, I remember when you came in my home and told me and it's better than you said it was going to be. I make that commitment to you and your family that we're going to be the closest thing to blood family and blood relatives without being blood relatives. We need you and want you to be a part of San Diego State. That's great. Can well, we I sign we... you now? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll sign. I, I just don't know if my grades are up. <laughs> he was a man from the get-go who could make his point without being a jerk about. Tell me a Larry McCarron story. Larry McCarron, who uh, he may still, at one time he held the Green Bay Packer all-time start list yeah. uh, on his wedding day. I'm a young single guy and I was living in an apartment. McCarron is over at 10 o'clock in the morning before his 12.30, 1 o'clock wedding, pumping iron, working out with the weights before he had his wedding, and to him, that had to be done or there would be no wedding. What, what's the greater accomplishment in your life? What you've done there or what you and your son Mark have done for ALS awareness in the community and nationwide? Uh, Paul, I'm a dad first and foremost. And everything I've ever done in my professional life has been surrounded by what's in the best interest of family. When Mark was diagnosed with ALS, his comment was, I don't want pity, I want support. And that's what we provided for one another. He's been a great inspiration for me, and I think for our basketball team, with how he's handled himself and got a wife and a three and a half year old son, Max. I take great pride, pride in being a dad. I take great pride in what we've done at San Diego State with, uh, with our basketball team. It's just neat to be a part of this. And with, with, with you too. I mean, you and I become friends now over the last 18 years, and I value that friendship. So I feel privileged to be here and be a part of everything that's going on.